Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the all-new NASB Diadem from Cambridge Bibles. Okay, my copy of the new NASB Diadem from Cambridge Bibles has just arrived. Inside this box is a beautiful, I've seen photos, of what looks like a beautiful forest green calfskin edition of the NASB Diadem. I can't wait to unbox it. But before we dive in, I want to remind you that Cambridge has released a couple of diadems. They've done the hardcover edition in ESV. This came out in, I think, late 2021. They released the ESV Diadem with and without the Apocrypha in the hardcover edition. And then about a year ago, they released that same Bible in the premium calfskin edition. So they had edge-lined calfskin, I believe in red and black and maybe brown, and then they had a couple of calf split editions that had paste down liners. I was very impressed with this Bible when it came out. It's beautifully designed. I love the layout. Basically, this is an expanded, larger version of Cambridge's Pit Minion, the little mini me Bible. I actually have one of those. Back, this is what's great about having all my Bibles here in the shelf in the new studio, is I can reach up here, NIV Pit Minion. Here it is, right here. So I've got the NIV Pit Minion, which is this little guy, and I have the ESV Diadem. You can see the size. It's just a little bit bigger. So they've basically made a bigger sized version of the Pit Minion. They started with the ESV. Now they are making it available in the NA NASB, the 95 NASB, and so that's what's in here. We're going to unbox it and review it. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I'll set those aside. Oh, this box is already kind of, I don't have to rip it apart. I just can just pull it. Okay, slide it out there. Yes, it's the green edition. I was hoping that I was going to get the green edition. That's awesome. Take the box, throw it over there. Okay, NASB Diadem Reference Edition. It does have the little 95 logo down here on the bottom, so you can see that it's the 95 edition, and it says green calfskin leather edge lined. Let's see if this can just... Oh, so it's wrapped in plastic. Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I was, like I said, I was very impressed with the red edge-lined calfskin that they did on the, the ESV diadem. I just think it's soft, it's floppy, it looks great. The, the quality of this Bible was over the top, so I'm glad they're continuing to expand this line. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh, I was honestly, oh wow. Sometimes you just have to stop and smell the leather, you know what I'm saying? This Bible smells great. B cam, can you smell this? It smells so good. Okay, first of all, the, the, the main wow that I gave you when I first opened this was that I was expecting it to be a little bit brighter green, but this is a gorgeous, deep, dark green, almost with like a, a, some blues that are coming out of it. Can you see that? It's hard to see in my lights if I can't get it in there. This looks in the camera to me, it looks almost black, but this is a nice deep down, deep, deep green with like some blue hues to it. Oh wow, this is stunning. On the spine it says, Holy Bible, New American Standard Version, and then Cambridge. It's got Holy Bible on the front in gold, a nice perimeter stitch. It's got these tooled ribs and little baby, baby, baby thin raised spine hubs on the spine there, which is really nice. This looks great. Red under gold, art gilding. It's very similar to the ESV edition. Now, I got the ESV with Apocrypha, and so this is considerably thinner. Look at that, compared to how thick the ESV is. I'll do some measurements here in a moment when I do the overhead, but it does not have the Apocrypha. So they made an edition of the the, the ESV one without the Apocrypha, but I'm not sure. I think the red one had the Apocrypha in it. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's got three, I can see in here, three green ribbons. Those are bright green. I like that. And the paper looks fantastic. That same great design that if you're familiar with the Pint Minion or even the Wide Margin, the Wide Margin is going to be just the same style Bible, but here, let me give you a quick quick sneak peek in there. So two column Bible, center column references. I feel like this is a very uh, classic design that just looks great, easy to read. And the size of this, a nice mid-size Bible is really great. I want to check this out. Okay, presentation pages. Again, I'm getting ready to do an overhead and I'm going to show you all of this. Yep, it's got the same specs as the, the ESV edition. So it was printed and bound by Royal, Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. It's on French paper. I think it was 33 GSM paper that they used in these. And it feels great. It's very, very opaque. 
And yeah, this this green, you get the cards and stuff like that in there from them. This green is very impressive. It's very, I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see it better on the A cam. It's very deep, dark green. When I bring it over here, it almost looks black, but it's got like that deep hue to it. This is really, really beautiful. I love the, the smoothness of the calfskin compared to like a more pebbly grain for goat skin. The calfskin, there's some texture in it for sure. You can see some veins and things like that, but it's got a little bit more smoothness. This is such a great size. Oh, this is such a great size. Okay, I'm gonna do an overhead video and dive into this and show you all the specs and give you a little bit of a better close-up view of this Bible, but this looks absolutely fantastic. Before we dive in, hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel. This is the new NASB diadem from Cambridge Bibles. Okay, here's a quick look at the box, Cambridge NASB diadem. There you see the 95 NASB logo, really nice clamshell box. All of the information on the back of there, there's the diadem the unfading crown logo. And there is the Bible itself. It's really bumming me out. I mean, you can see that it's green, but it looks way darker on the can. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a photo of this in really nice natural light. I'm gonna insert it right now. Here is what the Bible actually looks like. Look at that beautiful green color. That's what this Bible looks like. Okay, back to this one. It almost looks black under my studio lights in here, but it's a very, very deep, dark green. I love it. You've got, as I showed you a minute ago, it's got tooled ribs and these gently raised spine hubs in there. Very classic look, Holy Bible, New American Standard. It says Cambridge. You get these three bright green, very thin ribbons. There's a perimeter stitch around the outside. It does say Holy Bible there right in the center. Very, very clean and classic. Red, a faint red under gold art gilding. This is going to be the same size as this is the red edition that I have in the ESV. So same size there, um, but it's going to be not quite as thick because this one has, like I said, doesn't have the Apocrypha and the ESV one does. But it comes in this color right here, forest green, black and brown in edge lined calfskin. So there you can see the edge lines tab. It's got kind of a synthetic liner in here, but black in sheets. You can also get a paste down edition that's calf split leather in red or black, but looks really nice. As far as size goes on the diadem, just like the ESV edition, this one's almost not quite six inches. It's like five and three quarter inches wide and eight and a quarter inches tall. It's a really, really nice kind of mid-size look and feel. And this one is only about one and a quarter inches thick. So it's very portable. It's not, it's not, I wouldn't call it a personal size Bible, but it's definitely a mid-size compared to, now again, we're comparing this to the pit minion. So that's the NIV pit minion, but look at how much smaller that is compared to the diadem. And you get inside here, you're going to see the layout is identical. It's the exact same kind of concept here in both. It's just an enlarged version of the pit minion. So if you have an NASB pit minion, you now have an option to get a slightly larger version of that. And they're going to continue to release these in other translations. So it'll be a really nice combo to go with there. So Again, really, really beautiful, nice, smooth, soft calf skin. It's edge lined. It's got a Smithstone text block. It feels like really, really nice quality. Great midsize. Let's open this up. Okay, so get in here. I got a couple of blank, thicker cardstock sheets. You do get a presentation page where it says this Bible belongs to. You get children, marriages. Marriages, grandchildren, deaths. I like how always how they like to do they, they do the deaths pages in black, so it's like a little bit of a, a nod to the loss there. Holy Bible, New American Standard, title page, all this looks good. Here we get to the copyright page. So you're gonna see up here at the top it talks about being made by Cambridge and the Lockman Foundation down here at the bottom. Some of the important stuff here. It was uh, published in 2022. Typeset, this is 8.2. Their website says 8.1 lexicon typeface. Paper supplied by Papeteries du Le Mans from France. Really nice, 33 GSM French paper. Produced, printed, and bound in Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood. So best of the best in terms of production, materials, quality, all of that stuff. So table of contents, books in alphabetical order, the chronology of rulers during biblical times. I love this right here. So you get a little bit of a chart there for different rulers, governors, and things like that in the Roman province of Judea following Herod. That's cool. A little forward here, the fourfold aim of the Lockman Foundation, the introduction to the New American Standard Bible and how it operates. And then you get into the text of scripture itself. So let me just kind of open this up and show you here 
Really, really nice. Two column text, center column cross references, the cross references up top justify or, or match up with the, the text on the left column of the page. The cross references on the bottom match up with the text on the right side of the page. It's a really beautiful Bible. It, it looks great. It's got, like I said, an 8.1 lexicon typeface. Lexicon is a typeface that a lot of different Bible publishers use, and it's designed to be able to be read um, at smaller sizes, to be able to read, be read very cleanly. So um, looks really nice. By the way, this is cross-references and textual footnotes in here. So you're going to see some footnotes and some cross-references kind of mixed in together. Um, paragraph format in the, the places that are more poetic type settings, you do get kind of a verse-by-verse -verse poetic line break kind of thing. Um, I think it looks better. Uh, this design in general looks better in the paragraph format, um, but it's nice to have a little bit of a breakup for uh, poetic sections of text. Um, the diadems that are the hardcover ones that they came out with in the ESV, which they didn't do hardcover for the NSV, the hardcover ones had black letter text, the leather ones had red letter text. And if we check this one out, you see here that nice, deep, dark Cambridge red letter. Let me pull this up and let you see it. There you see kind of the contrast of it in there, black versus red. They do a really, really great job. Um, as you can see, this paper is nice, bright, and crisp. It has a nice feel to it, a good uh, sheen to it. So really really this feels very very high quality in hand and it looks great as well when we get to the end of the new testament the additional features in this bible include a concordance so a three column concordance it's got space above and beyond um, at the top and the bottom in there bolded entries and then at the end, you get the index to the Cambridge Bible maps and all 15, kind of the 15 standard Cambridge Bible maps here on a slightly thicker, thicker, glossier uh, cardstock. Assyrian Empire, Babylonian Empire, the Persian Empire, the Hellenistic world. I love this, kind of the, the time between the Testaments stuff and the end of monastic dynasty in, not monastic, the end of the monarchy in the history of Jerusalem. And then you have some stuff about, or in the history of Israel, and you get some stuff about Jerusalem um, in the New Testament times as well as the Old Testament times. Roman Empire, I love the Cambridge maps. I should probably do like a whole video on my favorite Bible maps because that's a great idea, Tim. There's some great Bible maps out there, and I'm a big fan of Bible maps. So overall, that's a quick run through of the diadem. A beautiful, I love this forest green color. It's absolutely gorgeous. So there you have it, the NASB diadem from Cambridge Bibles. I really like this Bible, and I think it's a great addition to what they already have going with this line, kind of taking this typesetting, expanding it. Um, really, really great. This comes in green, black, and brown in the edge-lined goat skin, and then you can get, I believe, either black and, and red or brown and red in the calf split leather. So I'll put some links in the video descriptions where you can find where you can purchase one of these, where you can find out a little bit more information directly from Cambridge. I'll also put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. I have a feeling that this Bible is going to be very photogenic. So I'm excited to take some great photos and post them on social media. So definitely come follow along on Instagram and Facebook. As always, if you have questions about this, if you have thoughts about this, drop those things in the comments. I love engaging with my watchers here on YouTube. It's so much fun. So definitely leave those in the comments and I will respond. And again, before you go, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't considered it, become a channel member. There's some people who are out there supporting the channel with just a small fee monthly to kind of help me keep things going here at Bible Review Blog. Shout out to all of my channel members. I appreciate you so much. You are incredible. Thank you for your love and your support. This is awesome. A beautiful Bible, again, from Cambridge. So thank you to my friends at Cambridge for sending this. This is really, really cool. And thank you for watching. This was a lot of fun. I'll see you next time.